everybody. Welcome to the Andaman Islands. The Andamans itself is a beautiful hidden gem, but I'm going to take you to more hidden gems on these beautiful islands. Follow me. I'm so excited. The plane is finally landing and I am in the Andamans. I've been dreaming of this trip, you know, Havelock is a jungle island with those beautiful sugar white sun toasted beaches and I am here not to do the touristy stuff but to find the hidden gems of the Andaman Islands. Welcome to Havelock Island. I think it should be called Paradise Island because look at it. It's all green. <laughs> we have arrived! Welcome to Radhanagar Beach! This is Radhanagar Beach. It is on Havelock Island. Pure white sands from the jungle onto the green sea. This truly is one of India's hidden gems. So beautiful, so pristine. I hope it stays this way. Look at this, I found this on the sand. I think from a tree or something. You know, I've been all over the world, the Bahamas, all over the Caribbean, Puerto Rico, everywhere and I can still say that this beach in Havelock, oh my gosh, it's one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen in my life. Another hidden gem is Neil's Cove! Isn't this place beautiful? Crystal clear waters. Can't get over how beautiful this is. From the beach to the jungle. And that's how magical this place is. Wow, check out that huge ass tree. And look at the roots. I am in an enchanted forest. Let's go. There's a beach called Total Beach. That's a hidden gem, but that's difficult to get to. I'm going to try to get to that one. Let's go. We have to find Total Beach. So if you go a little further from all the Janta, you come to a beautiful white sand beach called Total Beach that only the locals know about. I have arrived at Total Beach. My friend, is the hidden gem. Dekho, ye hai turtle beach yaha pe koi nahi hai. Maine suna yaha pe snorkeling bahut acha hai. Chalo jaate hain. Wow, and this is the reason I'm completely have lost. That coral, so beautiful. I was just swimming. Oh my God, so beautiful, those colors, the fish. Wow, that was such a beautiful experience. Oh my God. I love you, Turtle Beach. I'm so sad to leave the snorkeling with the best I've ever had. So, I'm on Neil Island. There are much fewer people here, less tourists. Havelock has more mountains, it's more flat. It looks be beautiful though, look at it. We're going to find the natural bridges. So we walk through these rocks first. So you have to make sure you come here during low tide, huh? So that's the natural bridge right there. And apparently there are a few of them. Uh, the reality is there are a lot of people. Going under the bridge. I'm trying to look as elegant as possible. <laughs> so I'm walking towards the second natural bridge. Not many people know that there's a second one. It's way quieter and nobody else is going. But it looks like a hidden gem to me. So let's go find it. That, my friends, is the second natural bridge. You see that in the distance over there? That's the second natural bridge. This is a beautiful hidden gem. It's a natural bridge 
formation formed out of the rocks and there's nobody here but me <gasps> Sita Pool Beach Sunrise Point let's go it's so early that even the dogs are sleeping good morning it's sunrise I am now at Sita Pool Beach it's beautiful and empty this is on the other side of the island the island's really small Robinson Crusoe Island can't swim on these beaches of Neil Island because they're pretty rough but they're beautiful and empty so we're doing a jungle trek today I'm with a bunch of bearded guys these are crab holes so you you said you catch the crabs we don't actually catch them but yeah we smack them and we just put them in our dry bags what, are, what is at the end of this trek there's a big rock so actually the name is banga dungi okay uh -huh. So Banga Dungi basically means Dungi is a boat, a wooden boat. Yeah. Banga means it sunk. So okay. that is where it sank, ahead of that beach. Oh. That's how these people found that beach and then they walked through this trail and that's how they found the place. Oh my god. Reaching the beach. Wow, look at this gorgeous beach. There's a bunch of people sitting on that rock. Can you see them? There they are. Looks like a spaceship to me. You come here often to this point? Yeah, to the locals come here. Spot. Yeah. And we don't get your people, only the celebrities. But now everybody on Instagram knows about it. <laughs> but no one knows how to come here. <laughs> <laughs> This is actually fun watching Shana climbing down this rock. It's been ages and she has just covered like one meter. Try this again. <laughs> it was fun to watch you. No, thank you. <laughs> that's the boat. That's Hansraj's boat that's going to take us to Ross Island. How hilarious do I look? They make you wear this hilarious life jacket to get on the 10 minute ferry to go on Ross Island. If you're here and you're going to Ross Island, remember to carry a hat. Don't be like me and forget your hat. Where we're going. I have arrived in Ross Island. This used to be the headquarters of the British. Ross Island came to be known as the Paris of the East. Its residents enjoyed all the comforts of modern living with amenities for their physical and mental well being. Look at this, how beautiful it is! All these old British structures, and they're so old that the trees have grown into them. British like this obviously for its beautiful location right on the ocean. This is a perfect location for photo shoots. Let's go check out the church. This is the cemetery. All the British people go, it's quite eerie. Let's run. <laughs> If you come on a boat from Port Blair, they only give you one hour to explore the whole island. Back on the boat after visiting Ross Island, that was such an interesting place. If you enjoyed my video, please leave a comment. And a heart. I will now leave the white sand sugar coated beach to take you to my resort. Breakfast was in the trees. Yes, I am staying in a resort called Barefoot. And this is the most sustainable, eco-friendly resort I have ever stayed at. I strongly suggest you stay here. Hey you, come with me. Welcome to my beautiful Nicobari Villa. Check out the ceiling. It's a beautiful circular room. The whole villa opens out like this. There's these slats. And the night you close it. So the shower area also has this beautiful circular roof. I have a lovely area outside. This is my roof. It's all handmade. 
by the people from the Andamans. This is how they make the roofs in the Nicobar Islands. That's why it's called the Nicobari Villa. Hey everybody, welcome to the Love Hotel. Are you looking for some romance? Well, let me give you some. If you want something on the east side of the island, I suggest the Love Hotel. <laughs> the Love Hotel is for honeymooners. The east side is just tranquil and pretty. And this hotel is quite the hotel for honeymoon couples. I mean, they're pouring marigolds over me in the swimming pool. <laughs> I am now taking you to a very exclusive resort. It's up on the hill. It's called Chalakara. So Jalakara is a hidden gem. You won't find them on any website. You won't know about this place unless somebody's told you about it. And now you will because I'm telling you about it. But to book them, you have to go to their website. To come here for lunch, you have to call and take permission and enter this place. And it's hidden away a little gem in Havelock. I'm so glad I found this place. Now you know about it. Definitely come here for lunch. But call and come, okay? Otherwise, they won't take you. That's it. It's the end of my trip. Is there a place you visited that you never ever wanted to leave? For me, it's the Andamans. What is it for you? Write in the comments.